Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL. We are of course back here on the VSS Inferno, which is part of Fifth Horseman's The Pyro Ship Mod, which is a pretty nice little ship here. And it would have been even nicer if I hadn't just made a fatal error recently and accidentally killed off two of our Rockmen, which were our main boarding party here, to take advantage of our fire weaponry. But you know what? All is not lost, because even with that fairly large, very stupid thing I just did, we have a very powerful ship nonetheless for this stage of the game. We have decent level shields and engines like standard. We have some pretty powerful weaponry here given that we have a fire beam, ion blast, ion bomb, and a heavy laser. Not to mention we have a pike beam in storage if we want to use that instead. We also have ourselves a teleporter and various other support things. And two automated reloaders making us fire pretty darn fast. So this should make things quite nice for us here. We have a store right next to us if we want to head over there and sell something, but I think for the time being, since we are in his old homeworld sector, there's going to be two other stores anyway. We're going to head over somewhere else, jump through these nebulae, and then maybe we can go all the way around here, circle around that way. That's a good idea to me. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, out. That should probably do it. So let's do this jump first, actually. That sounds like a good one to me, and see what we can see. Is there anything interesting here? Hopefully, yes. Assault and ships make contact. The nature of the day is rotational. The fever is emaciated. The, the reason is... Hmm. Seems like they've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before we can consider finding help for them, they open fire. What do they got? I don't know yet. But they don't have a whole lot of manpower, so we might send Charlie and Davian in there just to punch him in the face a couple times, since we have no one else anyway at the moment. They have a bomb of some kind, which could cause us some problems, but other than that, they don't look too heavily armed, so we should be okay here. We'll send our crew in there in a second, and they should have no problem dealing with these guys. So, get in there, teleport in, awesome. Bomb hits us in the med bay, but it's a small bomb, so it doesn't do much. And once their shields go out again, oh, their shields aren't going to go out again. They have level 2 shields. That's unfortunate. Well, we should be able to still kill them without too much trouble here. The small bomb can't actually do any system damage. So as long as they don't hit us in the shields here, we should be fine. Yeah, we're doing just fine here. These guys are going to go down in no time to our lovely human boarding party. With the crew dead, we take 6 fuel from their storage and also 37 scrap from the ship itself. Alright, that'll do. Teleport our crew back on board. There we go, guys. Congratulations, you're welcome back. We can send our NG back into the med... Uh, the engines and our humans into the med bay. Charlie and Davian, heal yourselves. Okay, we're probably going to want to get this ion bomb up and running soon. Otherwise, we're going to run into problems with not being able to get through higher level shields, I think. I thought having the higher level ion blast with the two auto reloaders would do it, but I think we actually need to level up our weapons one more time. So Ash needs to be maximum level for that higher, faster charge time, and then we'll be able to blast them with one only ion blast, I think. Let's see here, though. If we can pay... 50 scrap will get access to our ion bomb or we could go for this and get access to level 3 shields right now which is probably the better idea if we get access to level 3 shields it'll make us a lot more survivable at the very least then we can work our way up either way because we can use the ion bomb instead of the ion blast if we need to an ion bomb first followed by an ion blast would probably be a pretty effective way of keeping shields down probably what we'll wind up doing. Power up the shields here. It's going to take us a while to actually get the power we need for them, but we can always drain it from the engines in the time for the time being, rather. If we need to swap it down to engines, we can, but having that additional power is probably good. So, interesting. What do we do now? We don't really even need the fire beam on as much anymore because we don't have the people to take advantage of it, but we'll leave it there anyway because that's kind of the whole point of this ship. Setting people on fire is fun anyway. Here we find that the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space with unmanned craft, and it's somewhat worrying to us. It arms weapons, and we should do the same. They have no shields, though, no cloak, just lots of engines. So we're going to try and ion blast them in the weapons, heavy laser them in the weapons, and uh, just tank them out here, because they don't have enough firepower to actually get through our shields here. So it doesn't even matter if we don't hit them in the weapons. They only have the potential to do two damage to our shields and a mini beam, so they can't actually hurt us at all. We're going to heavy laser them there again and try and knock out that this thingy, the helm, because <laughs> if they can't dodge us, then they can't dodge us, and that means they're going to be dead. There we go, now they can't dodge us, knock out the remaining weapon just for lulls. I could even just leave them attacking us to train up our shields, but I don't know, RTM will get the skill eventually. Heavy laser them in the weapons, thank you very much, stay down, and assist at them on fire. Ah, it's not going to do anything, but we'll do it anyway, and murder them with a heavy laser. And down goes our enemies, fantastic. What else can we do here? Ship explodes, giving us a missile of drone part 26 scrap, which is nice. We're probably going to want to spend that directly on power bars so we can get those engines back up and running, because the last thing we want to do is have less engines than we could theoretically have. We're already back up to maximum, so that's good. There's another store. If we go there, I think all we have to sell is our pipe beams. I think I'll hold on to that for a little while longer. Let's jump into this nebula beacon, and we'll keep working our way around like planned. What do we have here? 
We see a number of derelict ships near the beacon. After a short time, we hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter and shouts coming from within the ship. We have been boarded! Oh my goodness, we sure have. Alright, that's a lot of boarders. Can we get in there and punch them? Looks like a yes, but I'm not sure. Let's get a Rockman in here to support Ash in the weapons, and we should have a pretty easy time punching these guys into next week. Hopefully there's nobody else on board, but I don't see any other damage bars appearing on our ship. So it looks like we've pretty much got them contained. I think I'm going to send my humans into the med bay here, though, so they don't die. Power up the med bay, and that should be fine. These guys should handle them no problem. Alright, too bad we can give the experience to these guys who are likely to be doing boarding. But you know what? That's fine. We'll give it to the people who got the kills, and that will be that. Send Brecken down to the med bay and Ash as well. Everyone else came up from that no problem, so we'll let them heal up and get back to the fray. Alright. Brecken, back to the helm, thank you very much, and Ash over to weapons. I could swap someone else for Brecken and have him be a boarding party. If I get another Rockman, I might do that, because having two Rockman boarding is perfect, and then Charlie or Davian could take over that job. In fact, I probably should do that now, because then we'll have the experience, the time to gain the experience, in case we ever do find one. Because all then, we'd all we need is one more Rockman, and that would be pretty good. So maybe, Brecken, you're going to actually come away from there. Davian, welcome to piloting. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me, because, you know, Brecken was a pretty good pilot already. He was already halfway up to level 3, or rather, level 2 piloting, which is pretty nice, but we should level up pretty quick there, because we dodge things pretty quickly. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Shields are going to be a bit slow to leveling up, because we have such nice dodge, but we'll start winding, winding up fighting enemies with higher, or rather, multiple, oh my goodness words, with more individual attacks as we progress, so that shouldn't be a problem. One more nebula beacon before we get out of this nebula. What do we see here? It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination where one of the ships is offering us a deal. And, surprise, surprise, more fuel for nothing. Eight fuel for one drone part. Well, we have 45 fuel now. If we ever need any more, I'd be very surprised. Let's jump to this distress beacon and see what they want. I bet it's not fuel. It is fuel! A small, a small civilian ship flies over as soon as we arrive and tells us that they're prepared... We're prepared to fight, but they tell us that they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. Words are just not on my side right now. We decide to give them the two fuel they ask for, because we have 44, so that's hardly a... even a tiny percent of what we have. That's what, like, less than 0.5%? I don't even know. 2%? Two, 2 <laughs> Something tiny. Really, really tiny. Anyway, give them the fuel. We give them the fuel, and they give us 37 scrap, which is a huge return on that tiny amount of fuel, especially given we have so much anyway. Math is not my strong suit, though, so don't be surprised if that's completely off. Let us jump again, though, and see if we can't make any more progress here in the sector. It'd be nice if we could find a Zoltan quest, but I'd be surprised if we do at this point. We have to admit, Zoltan space is a beautiful and peaceful place indeed. However, re-engaging the FTL and finishing our mission is our priority, not sightseeing, so we move on nonetheless. Let's jump over this way and keep on moving. Is there anything here? Please say yes. We spot a pirate ship looting a small Zoltan cruiser. They spawn us and move into attack before our FTL drive is a chance to recharge. And you know what? I'm okay with this. Ion Bomb, you're going to start charging up so we can actually hit these guys. They do have level 2 shields, so a single shot's not going to do it. They can't hurt us, though. With their basic laser and heavy laser mark 2, they can't get through 3 layers of shields. So we're effectively safe to just sit here and tank their attacks all day. Which we might, we could theoretically do. Unfortunately, they're both Rockmen, so our fireboarding strategy isn't going to be the best, and we don't have two fireboarders to fight them back with. We're probably going to try and fight them out because they don't have a med bay, and we do have access to a med bay. But we're probably not going to try and do it with a fireboarding strategy. We'll just hit in there and try and punch them a couple times. So, we might even just leave their weapons active and just slowly go in there and punch them into death. Alright, Charlie and Brecken, let's see if you can get in there and punch some guys. We're going to come into the shields room. They're probably not going to both join us right now until these guys are just about dead. So we have plenty of time to kill Kriz. Kriz, Really? Chris with a Z? That's not something I've ever seen before. I'm just going to let them shoot us. We could waste bombs and stuff to take them out, but it's nice to gain some extra skill here for our people while we're fighting them, and there's no real disadvantage to us to do it anyway. Also, we came out really nicely in that battle, so we should be able to take these guys out as well. One-on-one -on -one is always a good place to be. Or two-on-one, rather, for us. More dodging. Davian, you're actually leveling up quite quickly there, so that's nice for us. Lots of dodging. I was kind of expecting we'd take more hits here so our shields could level up a little bit, but it looks like we're mostly just beating them, or dodging them at every opportunity. And there's a shield hit, and they're dead. So, there are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We strip it of useful materials, getting two fuel, two missiles, and 40 scrap, which is another lovely thing, and we're going to teleport out of that ship. There we go. Artyom, got a tiny bit of experience there. You really need to level up your shields a lot. You have to take a lot of hits for that to really work for you. 
But I really wanted to just get Davian up leveled up, though, because the more dodge we have against missiles, the better. Get people into the med bay and heal them back to full health. We have 86 scraps, so we could theoretically power up all of these weapons simultaneously. That's probably what we're going to do. We might want to go for a higher level of the teleporter, but I think for now we'll stick with the current plan of boosting up weaponry because that will make us much more dangerous. So we're going to power up another power into the weapons, another into the power bars so we can actually run them all. And Ion Blast is now online. There we go. So our arsenal is now fully effective for what we have. That should be quite nice. We'll leave the Ion Blast over here. Maybe we'll stop the heavy laser. Now we'll leave the Ion Blast over there. That way we can actually have our damaging weapon online if we take a single damage there. We'll leave the Ion Bomb here because it takes a longer time to charge. I think that's probably the best course of action. Let us jump over this way. If we can't make this jump, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I'm sure we can, though. What do we see here? We jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its NG escort takes us for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. Well, you silly people, you've got not enough firepower to hurt us. Two heavy lasers and an ion blast, and not enough to get through three layers, three layers of shields. Plus, you only have one layer of shields yourself, so you guys are in for some trouble here. I could just tank the damage, which could be fine. I don't know if having this hit you actually t stops you from gaining skill on the shield system. That's kind of interesting. Does it? Does our team level up twice there as they level up? 13, 13. Maybe it does. Huh. That is kind of a pain. Hmm. He's not actually working on the system, I guess. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Let's ion blast them in the shields. Interesting little experiment there. There we go. We're going to set their med bay on fire, I think. And we're going to heavy laser them in the med bay. And then we're going to board them. Hello, friends. We're in your weapons now. Come fight me. Excellent. So now that their weapons are on fire and broken, even if they do decide to stop fighting us, they're going to have a hard time immediately fixing them all, and we can basically just chill out in here and then murder these NG, because they're not going to be able to do a whole lot to us, because they are basically zero attack power. They do 50 damage for every 10, 100 damage we do, and that's it. only with them actually going right till they die. And there's both NG dead. With their ship emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding 33 scrap and a prisoner who offers to join our crew, and they are... Giles? Giles? Not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Welcome to the shields, Giles. You give us one permanent shield bar that cannot be ioned out, and that's fantastic. We're going to teleport our crew back over to our ship, get them healed up a little bit, because they did take a tiny bit of damage from those NG, and that is looking even better now. So we have a, almost a full crew here. I think we have one more space. Yes, we do. That's good. That is nice. This is actually quite effective, in fact. Quite effective indeed. With those two Zoltan, we get a bit of, bunch of spare power. With an NG, we can fix things quickly and get blue options. Our pilot is only a human at the moment. That's not great. Same with Ash here on weapons. If we get another Rockman and maybe a Slug instead of a human, that would be nice for covering all bases, but definitely isn't necessary. We have a pretty darn effective ship at the moment. 39 scrap, I'll hold on to that for the time being. We have a couple jumps left. I'm not entirely sure where we want to go, though. We could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't think we can make quite that many jumps, though, before we run out of space. We could try and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That might work a little bit better because we'll be jumping here into the nebula. But I'm not sure if we can even make that jump. Let's try it and find out. We have tons of fuel to burn anyway. What do we see here? Our ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Okay, well, they don't have a very interesting voice. Let's get in here and punch them. They have a halberd beam and an ion blast so they can't hurt us. Wonderful! This is what I like to see. We can't board them, mind you, but we don't need to board them. We can just smash them to death with a heavy laser. It'll take a little while, but they have no shield, so it's not going to be a problem. We can even, I think, permanently lock down their teleporter by ion blasting it once it recharges. Then it should never be able to fire again. We're also going to heavy laser them in the helm, so they can't dodge our other attacks, and then things should go just swimmingly. Perfect! Took some damage already. Heavy laser into the weapons, please. The more damage we do, the better. All right. And you know what? Just for fun, let's set them on fire, too. Set some more fires in there. Burn, 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 burn. Not gonna last for long, but they'll be fun. We're gonna heavy laser them again in the weapons. Thank you very much. Now they have one more hit until they are dead. That it's a long-standing flame there. And last shots going into the teleporter, or rather the cloak. Nice try, suckers. You're not getting away from us this time. The ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 33 scrap. Well, hard to complain about free stuff like that. A ship like that which can't hurt you is the best ship to fight. Now, we could upgrade our teleporter. I think I might hold on to this money a little bit longer, though, because we don't know what we'll find here. We could jump into both of these nebula beacons, which would be potentially very profitable. I don't know if we can make it up to there, but that's probably the best choice to go both nebula beacons and then head out from there and see what we can do. If we do hit an ion storm, that won't be great. We have a bit of spare power anyway, so we should be okay. 
What do we see here? We find nothing. We feel naked without functioning sensors. We have expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none appear. Alright then, let's jump over to this beacon and see if there's anything at this one. Well, there's an ion storm, so that's something. We spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of our presence, and we're able to get our scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying fuel, the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm, we think the best strategy is obviously to kill the one of them, who is no longer with the others. We can go for the fuel or the ammunition. Neither do we really need. We have a huge amount of fuel, though, so I think we'll go for the ammunition just for fun. So secure the ammunition. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. We jet towards the pirate with the ammunition and engage, hopefully leaving the ship in one piece. So, we don't have enough power to actually run most of our systems right now, but we do have enough power to turn on the ion blast and then set them on fire. I'd love to be able to see what's in there, but we're going to board them in a second anyway, most likely. So we'll ion blast them in the shields. That's a lot of lasers, actually, surprisingly many. And we missed them. Fantastic. You can't afford to be missing right now, guys. Hit them, please. And there we go. Set the weapons on fire. That's what we like to see. It is, of course, going to upgrade their other systems, but at the moment, I'm okay with this. There we go. We're also going to teleport in now, turning off the Ion Blast. They have no med bay. Turn on the teleporter. Jump into the helm. Thank you very much. Now, they have a lot of weapons in there, which is not great. We're taking a lot of hits as well. Their weapons should be on fire right now, but they might have been able to put them out by now. I'm not entirely sure. There's an injured human. That's what we like to see. Let's give him some hurt. Their weapons are burning, I think, because that one just turned off right there. That is a dead human, which is even better. More lasers coming at us, but we're still doing a pretty good job of blocking them. They must be dealing with the fire right now because they're all coming back to life. Yes, they are. There is a Zoltan and an NG, not the worst possible combatant, so we're taking a lot of shots right now. It's probably going to hurt. Yeah, one damage is fine, though, in an unimportant room. That is a dead enemy ship. With the ship in one piece, we salvage four missiles and 37 scrap before the ion storm clears and we have to jump away. I'm not entirely sure why the storm clearing means we have to jump away, because doesn't that mean that there's no more storm, so it's not a problem if we're still here? But whatever, we're going to move off because that's what the game says we should do. We are first, of course, going to heal up our crew, though, because there's no point in jumping to a new beacon with an injury. Alright, the missiles are probably going to come in handy if we even just sell them. We can use them with our ion bombs as well, though, so the odds of them being useful are pretty high. We have 108 scrap, 109 scrap, rather. Jump to the exit beacon. We might even be able to get two more before we're out of space completely here. Let's jump and see. Okay, what do we see? We arrive at the long range beacon, and what do we find there? Well, Federation sympathizers contact us as we arrive, saying they know our mission should be a secret, so we shouldn't ask how they know about it. However, they do give us an anti ship drone Mark 1 and a 16 scrap, saying it's all they can do to help. Well, thank you very much, though, gentlemen. We could jump away, but then we will have to fight enemies on the way back. I think if we jump away, we have to go to both beacons and then go back to the exit, because otherwise it's not profitable enough to be worth putting ourselves at risk fighting, an fighting off another uh, rebel super ship. But the potential for getting some nice valuable things is there, and we have a bit of spare hull, so it's probably not a bad plan to try and do. Let's jump over here, over to this beacon, and back to the exit and see if we can't get anything nice on the way there. Ooh, a nice sparkly beacon. An unarmed Zoltan transport, yay, is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail, saying... This is a Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. We could attack them, and I've never done this. I kind of want to attack them someday because it might be a fun fight if they have literally no shields or weapons. But I can't really justify doing that because hearing them out gives you free things, and there's no reason to not get free things. So we're going to hear them out. They continue, saying, We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond our simple minds or it's all nonsense. Possibly both. They finish saying, Please, spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contract our brethren. They transmit coordinates of their so-called brethren and leave us to our way. This is, of course, the Zoltan Cruiser mission, which we have completed long, long ago, but does give some nice, easy rewards. We're going to jump over to this beacon as well. It'll be in the next sector for us to get, which will be good. What do we see here? Emergency! All ships in range! We are under attack! The frequency matches a nearby Zoltan ship. We move in on their pursuer, and they take our intervention as a cue to jump away. The cowards. Well, they were Zoltan, so they're probably not the most tough people, but that's fine. Alright, we're just going to jump in and board them. They could potentially hurt us if they manage to get in with both of their crew, which is exactly what they did. I kind of want to be in the opposite positions right now, because our human is a little bit tougher, or rather a little bit more fragile, which would be better to be fighting against the NG. So we'll just trade them spots, like so, clicking into a different room and back in a different order. We'll swap their positions, and that's nice. Thankfully, they missed pretty hard there. We could try and fight them another way, actually try and take out their weapons, but for the time being, I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to try and punch them to death. It looks like we're actually winning this battle here, surprisingly enough. Brecken is doing a great job against their Mantis there, and we've just taken out their NG, which means they're going down. 
And they're dead. Fantastic. No more life signs are made on the ship. We strip it of use of material, getting two fuel drone part and 35 scrap, and let's get them back on board. There we go. Okay, okay. If we can get to the rock man, the fire weapons will be a valid strategy again, but as we have one human on our boarding party right now, it's not the best plan. 160 scrap, though. We should really spend some of that. And how exactly should we spend it? That is the question. Power up that medbay a little bit faster. Heal up our rock men before tomorrow. What do we do? What do we do today? What do we do today? What do we do today? What do we do? We could power up our engines again. Having more dodge is always nice. We don't really need more weapons at the moment, because we have nothing else that can use them. We could get higher level doors just to protect us a little bit better, and a higher level teleporter wouldn't be a bad idea either. We could even wait up and get level 4 shields, but I think we'll get higher level engines right now. We'll take that and that, and we will get the doors just to protect us a little bit better. We'll get the higher level teleporter soon, but having that extra dodge will make us a little bit harder to kill. 45% evasion is quite nice, especially given that we don't have a maximum level captain yet. I believe Davian is just about there, though. Yeah, close. Only needs to dodge three more things, and he'll be maxed out as well. Okay. Well, this is looking quite good, actually. Power that down, put it back in there. I should, probably shouldn't have bought that power bar. I didn't realize we still had a spare one in here. That was my mistake. But that's fine. Let's jump back to the exit beacon and hopefully not get horribly murdered by the rebel elites that are in here, because it's entirely possible. What do we see? We found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. We'll have to survive long enough to jump to the next sector, and they have missiles galore! Oh my goodness! Well, if we live long enough to ion bomb them, or rather we're here long enough to ion bomb them, we should certainly live that long, we're going to ion bomb them directly in the weapons, because if we can stop those missiles from smashing us in the face repeatedly, that'd be very nice. And we're going to do just that right now. Ah, oh, it was so slow! No! We knocked out all their stuff, but they managed to hit us right here first. Now we should be able to get away here, no problem. I could probably kill these guys if I tried, but I'm just going to run for safety, because those missiles are going to hurt. Jumping ahead to Sector 4 here is just another civilian sector, which is not the most interesting thing. But that's okay. I probably should have gone to this nebula beacon first. We did more red sectors on the way out. But honestly, I'm okay with this. Let's jump to the civilian sector and see what we see over here. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're in a new sector. We have to get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels can catch us. But I'm going to go grab a drink of water because my throat is giving me a bit of trouble. And I'll be right back. All right, let's go. So, new sector. Let's see what we see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Anything interesting here? Quest beacon's way over there. Lots of nebula in the back corner. Exit beacon is a nebula beacon, so there's not going to be anything there, so there's no rush to get there. We're probably going to go around this way and out there. Looks best to me. 50 scrap could get us some repairs if we need them, or we can probably gain a bit more soon and use it that way. Here we find an especially well-armed pirate ship approaching us and telling us to hand over our crew members if the one of us to go, f if the rest of us want to go free unharmed. However, we're not going to surrender our crew to the slavers. We're going to murder them. Here we go. What do they got? Defense drone mark one. Not a whole lot there. They got an anti-personnel drone, repair drone, bunch of mantis, no med bay, Lido missiles. Okay, we're going to ion bomb them in the shields first thing. Please don't hit me in the weapons. Thank you. We're going to now heavy laser them in the weapons. Thank you. And we're going to ion them in the shields with the ion blast on repeat. That should more or less cover it. Excellent. Now they should no longer be able to recharge those things, and we should be able to more or less wreck their day. We're also going to fire beam them through the drone control, just for fun, because that should prevent them from being able to actually repair things or be able to use their drones. Unfortunately, it didn't actually set the room on fire like I wanted, so we're going to heavy laser the drone control directly. There we go. Unfortunately, system repair drone is still online. It looks like both of them are still online. This is not going exactly as planned. Okay then, we're gonna heavy laser them in the weapons again, thank you very much. And it looks like we must have missed some shots there because their shields are back. On the plus side, we killed one of the humans, so that's better than nothing. We might just have to murder these guys outright, because this is not doing exactly what I hoped it would. Alright, can we actually knock out the shields like this? No, we're gonna have to ion bomb them in the shields again, not that it really matters. I, oh, come on, we missed. They missed two though, so that's fine. One of these days we'll get through them. Come on now, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Alright, alright. All right. We're getting hit. Oh, breaches as well, really. We could just board them, especially because the drone system's broken. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to board them in the helm here. That should let us kill them off pretty quick here. And then we should be okay. Only problem is if they still have more missiles to fire at us, because that could hurt. I could try and do something like iron out the missile with the bomb directly, but I think we should be okay as long as we don't get unlucky here and get too many nasty hits. 
We should be okay to fight these guys as well, just as long as human doesn't die. Good, Charlie just made it. We got hit again, but that's fine. We find a number of slaves in the cargo hold. They look at us questioningly, and one asks if they're to be released. We'll use more crew, but we don't want them to force them to work for us instead, and thankfully we can get a rock man here. Exactly what we wanted. Let's demand the Rockman joins our crew and release the rest. The Rockman remains silent, and we worry there might be trouble. However, when we ask him to perform a task, he acts without complaint. Perhaps he won't be a problem. We get a missile, a drone part, and 44 scrap. And Philip, welcome to the crew. You are now going to be helping out Brecken in flaming boarding parties. And by that, I, I mean on, on fire boarding parties, not anything else that could possibly mean. Let's get in here and fix this hole and fix our doors. Philip, you're going to help us fix this as well at the moment, whilst everyone else heals. Excellent. Taking some suffocation damage in there because I'm just letting them sit around in a room with no air in it. But you know what? That's fine. They don't need air. We will send Brecken back up here. Charlie, I think you might actually go help out with the repairs instead. And you'll leave Philip to his own affairs because he is going to be making friends with Brecken. And they're going to be doing some lovely boarding now. That was actually surprisingly easy to get our boarding party back. I was worried that having lost our one of our rock crew members, we wouldn't be getting another one for quite some time. But it looks like we got lucky there. All right. So, we have fixed the air problem, I believe. Vent some air back in there. We won't suffocate quite so much. Send Philip back up to the teleporter as well. And Charlie and Cinder down to the medbay to heal up again. Power that up to full, like I should have done before. And we will heal even quicker. Cinder, you are going to head back over to the engines there. And Charlie's going to chill in the middle as mobile repairs once again. Charlie got a little bit of combat experience there. He actually leveled up, which is surprising, given that Brecken didn't. But, unfortunately for him, he's not immune to fire, so he doesn't get to stay on the squad. 94 scrap. We could use that for something interesting, I'm sure, and I think we'll go for an upgrade to our teleporter at the moment, because that seems like it would help keep us alive. And the, oh, excuse me, that's never a bad thing. Alright, store's right next to us. We could go there, though we don't have really much to sell. An anti-ship drone on a pike beam wouldn't be too bad to sell, though, I guess. We might just do that. Mmm... It's more or less on track anyway, so let's go over there, we'll sell those things off, we might be able to get something nice here in the civilian sector, and we'll have to wait and see. So what do we get here? When we arrive, a small ship engineer has set up a small shop there, and they sell us, ooh, systems. Ion Blast Mark II as well, ooh, nice things. Well, we don't need the anti-ship drone, we'll sell that, we don't need the pike beam, we sell that. That gives us 119 scrap, not enough to get cloaking by a long shot. We could probably sell something else to get it, but we kind of like these things. Selling those off isn't really going to help us. We could sell the fire beam if we really, really wanted it. But I don't really want to push that hard, especially not since we just got our boarding party back up. Fire bombs are nice, but not quite as good as a fire beam for this, because this does use up bombs. We could get an ion blast, though. This is a nice weapon, and if we were to sell the other ion blast, this would actually all fit in one full set of gear. This is such a good combo for right now, though. We really don't need the higher level ion blast. It's such a good weapon, though. It's hard to say no to. Hmm. We could buy a drone control instead. Having access to some kind of defense drones would be nice, and having access to uh, whatever free drone comes with it, if it's a repair drone of some kind, might be useful as well. Defense drone mark ones are really what we'd be looking for, though. Oh, I don't know. I can't get what I wanted. Can we get anything else with this money? It'll be useful on board the ship already, because we can always do that instead right now. We could upgrade our engines or something again, but that's not really a priority. The cloak is really the thing we want, but we can't afford it yet, so I think we might just hold on to our money. We don't need the weapon upgrades, I don't think, at the moment. We have a pretty powerful se selection of gear. And having the drone control could be useful, because bombs are a nuisance, but we do have almost 50% dodge right now, so the odds of getting hit are a little bit less. I don't know. It's a risky thing. There's another store right there. I think we'll leave it for now, though. I think we'll leave it for now. We'll see what we can do. We sold off the things we wanted to sell. That gives us a bit of extra money. I think I will actually upgrade our engines again because that high-level dodge is actually really nice. It's really hard to hit you when you're dodging everything like that. Let's jump over here to this distress beacon and see if we can't continue to improve. Once we were live at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails us, thanking us for responding to their request. Their FTL navigation has allegedly gone haywire, and they can't plot a course to the depot to get it fixed, so we agreed to lead them to their destination. They give us 24 scrap in exchange for us leading them there, and say they'll follow us to the spot. Hopefully this isn't a trap, after all, there's a quest beacon exactly where we want it to go, so that's quite nice. This is probably going to wind up wasting a bit of jumping, though, so I think what we'll do is we'll jump over here and then over to the quest beacon, they'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's probably a little bit excessive, but we're going to do it anyway. Jump over this way, then to the quest beacon, and see what happens. We're a little bit low on hull. We should probably repair that soon. And what do you know? A free repair station. Well, a cheap repair station, not a free one, but hey. 
We see a small station here fitted with hundreds of repair drones, and we are offered some cheap repairs, even though they don't know who we are. Well, let's take that 10 damage to 20 square mile option. It's pretty nice. That puts us in a much better situation. Excellent. All right, we could jump straight to the quest beacon if they are going to help us. They're probably going to give us some hull now and make me feel silly for buying it, but either way, let's do it anyway and see. Shortly after we arrive, the ship we were escorting jumps nearby. Thanks for the help and offer us a reward of two missiles, a drone part, and 48 scrap. Kind of unfortunate for them, they were literally one jump from their destination and they paid us a huge amount of money to leave them there, but they don't know that, so that's fine. We'll just not tell them. Distress beacon over there. We could go straight there, but we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven, eight. We'll see. See how many jumps it takes us to get through all those nebula beacons. What do we have over here? We still have a pretty he healthy amount of fuel. We arrive at a populated sector where a merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for mercenary ship to aid them. Well, we're hate mercenaries, but we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. They say our ship seems reasonably equipped, and they find that their freighter carrying goods is now a week late. The fools threw, threw, filled, bleh, bleh, flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and he feels fears for the cargo's safety. He's looking for a less incompetent captain to help. Well, he says that we're confident and offers us their last known location. They're probably going to be chased by something, and they're way over there. Maybe we'll be able to get to them, but I'm not sure. Check out this distress beacon and then jump into the nebulae. What have we here? We find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. We hail them asking what's wrong and find out they're being overrun by giant alien spiders. And while I'd love to go help, we're not doing that. No thank you. We can't risk fighting some unknown aliens in every backwater station we come across, especially not giant alien spiders, because those things kill people. They really do. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That sounds like a fun way to get out of here. And if we need to take fewer jumps, we can, but hey, what can possibly go wrong in a nebula? It's hard to see why, but this state beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the many ships here is offering us a deal of five missiles in exchange for two fuel, but I don't actually need the missiles, so I'm going to ignore that option. And we'll keep jumping. Lots of jumps to do, and we have plenty of fuel to do them with. What do we see here? Nothing. We feel naked without functioning sensors, half expecting a rebel ship to appear, appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none come. Well then, let's jump ahead then and check out this quest beacon. What have we here? pirate ship arrives shortly after us. Judging from the fact that they're trying to avoid us, we assume they're a smuggler attempting to stay away from the beacons. Well, you know what? We're gonna kill them for that. Let's attack the pirates, because we hate everyone. We power up weapons and engage the ship. They've got Heavy Laser Mark II and a Dual Laser. Nothing too nasty. We can Ion Bomb them in the shields and take them out pretty effectively like this. We're also gonna knock out their shields with the Ion Blast. We're probably gonna wanna fire a shot into here just to make sure they can't time those correctly and actually hit us with them. We did level up our weapons now, which is good. We should be able to heavy laser them in the weapons here now. There we go. We're going to board them directly into the weapons with our two rock men and now set their entire ship on fire. Thank you very much. That should do the trick. Excellent. Now everything is burning. Their weapons are completely burned out, which is fine. I don't need to fire anything else. I don't even need the ion blast anymore. We turn that off. And let's keep going around here and punching everything we find. They're probably in the shields. Yes, they are. We'll come in here and let them punch us. The rock men is probably going to stop in the oxygen because since there is... No, oh, he's come out again. Since there was fire in there, I believe, he would have prioritized to tank out that system because he's immune to the fire. Getting their pairs back up would be good for them, but unfortunately for them, he appears to have decided to come punch him in the face until he dies, which is fine by me as well. Dead rock man, fantastic. Another ion blast. With the crew dead, we search the ship and find military grade weaponry taking what looks the most useful. 40 scrap and an ion blast. Well, if we equip two ion blasts, we can alternate the fire on them and basically take down any layer of shields. But I kind of like the ion bomb ion blast combination as well. Being able to really punch down those ions quickly is quite nice as well. I'm not entirely sure what the best course of action there is. We might hold on to both of them and then decide later on could be a bit tricky though. We will have to wait and see. 101 scrap is also quite nice to have. We could probably spend that on something lovely. What do we have in our options here for 100 scrap? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's jump ahead. We have a quest beacon right over here. We can see what's at that. We'll go one, two, three, four. We might even be able to make it out to the exit here without having to fight anything silly, but I would be surprised if we can make it there to the exit without having to fight at least one rebel elite. We arrive at a location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing nearby is a rebel ship, closing in fast. We found you, they say. You're not getting away this time. Well, let's attempt to hail them, because we are on a peaceful mission here from peace-loving Zoltan. As it says right here, this is a big clue, do not hit the attack button. When we attempt to hail them, they open communications, saying, I can't imagine there's anything that you can say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. 
Well, that's fine and all, but we have a couple of choices here. We can say there's a reconciliation of our ideals without war. We can tell them to surrender, saying that their destruction is inevitable. Or we can say that the rebellion is causing millions of deaths. Unfortunately, there's only one correct answer, and it is this one. Perhaps it could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. They say that our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled, and they doubt there's any way for it to end but war. Now we could say this one, which is a very logical sounding thing. The galaxy is huge, you can find a place for your ideals somewhere elsewhere without causing all this destruction, which is entirely true, but not the correct answer. The only correct answer is that true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Ta-da! Suddenly all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around us. The captain of the ship we met previously materializes on our bridge. Although our methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, he says, it is certain it is certainly clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If our ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, they shall do what they can to aid in our fight, giving us 42 scrap, hull missile, and access to their Zoltan cruiser. Fantastic. Hull missile, probably never going to get used. 42 scrap, certainly going to get used. Very least, the hull missile gets sold, and that'll help us out in the long run. 143 scrap we're sitting at here. That's a nice, nice margin. We're going to head over this way. Can we actually make it to that quest beacon from here? I'm not sure we can. We'll find out, though, in a second, and if we can't, that's fine. We'll just abandon them to their own... Own devices is the word I was looking for there. We arrive at the nebula here and immediately receive a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded. With the static from the nebula, there's no way to hear, tell where they came from, but we hear shots fired on board ship. Four people! Hello, friends! Time to go shoot them with rockmen. Punches. Shoot them with punch. I don't even know. Okay, time to kill some people. That's the point. And we're probably going to be in trouble here, actually. Ash is getting really badly punched. All right, you're going to head down to the med bay, and we're actually going to send... Davian to help you, and you're going to head down to the medbay. We're going to power up the medbay. Hopefully nobody dies in this like an idiot. We'll send in you to help as well. I think we should be okay here now at this point. Guys are doing a pretty good job punching people into next week. There we go. They are all dead. Fantastic. That actually hurt pretty bad, though, surprisingly enough. Let's send Ash over here and Charlie over there as well. We'll send Philip into... No, no, no. Philip into the medbay. We will send Brecken into the medbay. Cinder can hang out over here. Davian, you're going to come over and hang out over here as well. The Zoltan are the only people who didn't actually get hurt in there, so that's going to take us a little while to heal them. Thankfully, we do have that higher level med base, so they will heal pretty quickly. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll be able to send Philip and Brecken over to the teleporter now. There we go. And we can replace them with some other people who need healing. There we go. Davian and Cinder get in there. Davian's max level, yes, and I believe so is our gunner. Once he's actually back in the space there, Ash, you get in there. Thank you. Charlie can go back to his position, Cinder to the engines, and Davian to the helm. Excellent. With everybody at maximum level here, except, of course, for our Zoltan. Our team is not leveling up his shields very fast, but that is, of course, to be expected. They don't really get that quick there. Philip, not a whole lot of experience. Brecken's doing okay. Okay, we can make it to the quest beacon, but then we're probably going to have to jump directly back, and it's going to be a rebel sector. Ah, uh, we'll do it anyway. You know what? Take the risk. Let's get over here. Fight some dudes, jump back, fight some rebels. We arrive at the last known location for the merchant's delivery. Scanning for the lost ship, we find a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails us, saying that they can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we'd freeze to death. If you can help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Huh. That's surprisingly evil. We have three options here. Promise to deliver the cargo and ask if any would be interested in joining our crew. We can take the cargo but drop them off at a nearby station, or we could beam the cargo aboard and abandon them to their fate. I've never seen that option before. That's evil. Evil. Because, I mean, we don't need any crew, so having that wouldn't really help us. We could take the cargo and just steal it and drop them off somewhere else, which gets us that, that way, but th this is the same option as this, but evil. I've never seen this, so I have to try it. What happens when we beam the cargo aboard and leave them to their fate? There were generally used mili general, general military supplies in the cargo crates. We take what we can use, getting three fuel, a missile, and 45 scrap. No mention of the fact that we just abandoned them to die. Well, okay. If that's what... That, it's an option. I've never tried it before, so it needed to be done at least once. <laughs> madness. We can actually jump straight over here to the exit beacon. It will be a rebel beacon nonetheless. Saves us a bit of fuel though, so there's no reason to not do that. Before we do that though, is there anything we want to buy? 188 scrap. We should really save this so we can buy ourselves a cloak, I think. That's probably the best thing we can do for ourselves. So let's jump over here to the exit beacon. We'll hold on to all our money and see if we can get out of here nice and quick. We do have a ton of engine power, so it shouldn't be too hard. 
We found the exit beacon, but a chorus circle's got here first. Let's just survive long enough to jump to the next sector, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem. They're gonna board us in a second, but thankfully we do have a ton of people who can help deal with boarders. Let's get our crew over there to help protect our pilot, because he's gonna need to be alive to get us out of here quicker. Well, I'm not sure that that's actually how it works, but you know what? I'm fine either way. There we go. Davian, you're probably gonna want to run to the med bay now, so we'll send Brecken in to help. We do have a crew in here, so we're not really losing out on this at all. And now it's time to run, thank you very much. Jumping away! I could fight these guys again, but we don't really have direct damage to pummel these guys down, so we're just gonna run for safety. Options are a slug-controlled nebula or a civilian sector. And while I would never normally go to a slug nebula on purpose, we have a ton of fuel here, we can afford to waste some. This will give us an option of a purple or a green sector instead of just being forced into a nebula later on. And if we can get over here, we have a choice of two red sectors, which is definitely the best choice. So, for once, we're intentionally going into a slug controlled nebula. Here we go. We are getting fought at the moment, which should be okay, but we'll have to wait and see. Our crew is getting a little bit beat up, but they should have no problem taking these guys out. The only thing that can render a nebula more dangerous is if it's also home to the slugs. This particular nebula is just that. So we're going to try and club these guys down, and then we should be good to get healed up and move on, I guess. Davian back up to the helm, send those guys down below. Excellent. Whew. Well, that was a bit of a mess there. We came out on top again, though. We're doing pretty darn good here. Pretty darn good. Could be a little bit better, I think, probably, but we have been getting some pretty nice rewards from all these things. We rebuilt our rock boarding party. We have a variety of nice upgrades here, making us really hard to hit. Lots of money if we can find a store to spend on a cloak, and lots of other potential goodies. So, thanks for watching, everyone. If you have enjoyed this episode, Please remember to leave a like on this episode. This has, of course, been Vanguard of Valor playing through FTL on board the VSS Inferno, which is, of course, Fifth Horseman's the Pyro ship mod, which you can get for yourself in the description of this video. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.